Oh my gosh, I'm super nervous. <laughs> Yo hey guys, Jonathan here, and welcome to the $200 MacBook Surprise. So, meet Itzel, my barber. Not only is she amazing at what she does, she's an equally amazing and awesome person. So she'd asked me if you could buy replacement batteries for MacBooks, and I was curious to know which model it was, and it turned out to be this 2010 MacBook, which you can pick up for about 200 bucks used. Now I had no idea what happened to the battery until I saw it. The battery somehow started to combust and expand inside the MacBook to the point where it looked like tree roots breaking through concrete so bad to where I thought it broke the trackpad. This is what a perfectly healthy MacBook battery looks like and this is something you should not be anywhere near. Honestly, I'm just happy it didn't explode or catch on fire. Like that thing was crazy. But once I got it out of there, things were safe. I wanted to change the battery and also upgrade the RAM and to an SSD. Now, honestly, I was a little nervous that the expanded battery might have damaged the keyboard or even the trackpad. So my first test was simply just to plug in power without any battery and see if the trackpad and keyboard worked. And luckily it did. From there, my first move was to replace the battery, which was super easy. I'll actually drop a link to every part featured in this video down below. Next was the RAM, which was also really simple. I took this from two gigabytes up to the maximum four. Next was the hard drive, which is also really easy. It was kind of nostalgic, but also a little bit of a reminder that this MacBook was super simple to upgrade. Everything had gone smooth up until this point where I dropped a screw and couldn't find it anywhere. This is live footage of me banging my head on the camera and then proceeding to look all over the floor to try and find that tiny little screw. No joke, I actually checked my shoes because I could not for the life of me find it anywhere. Luckily though, found it and it was back to business. The upgrade was complete. From there, my next step was to install High Sierra onto this MacBook. That was probably the most painful part about this upgrade simply because this MacBook had USB 2.0, so it took a little bit of time. Aside from that though, the upgrade went smooth and High Sierra mixed with more RAM and an SSD made this thing feel like a new machine. Now the RAM was definitely a nice bump, but honestly the biggest and most noticeable upgrade was going from the hard drive to the SSD. With the hard drive, it was painfully slow at around 50 megabytes per second read and write, but with the SSD, we were seeing speeds over 200 megabytes per second, which is a huge difference. The entire computer because of this will feel snappier from booting up to copying and transferring files. And if you're on an older machine and haven't upgraded to an SSD, it is probably the best thing you can do. Now, whether you're an Apple fan or not, the fact that this machine from 2010, eight years ago, the same year I started YouTube can still run the latest OS smoothly is impressive. Now it's not gonna be an insanely powerful machine. You're not gonna use it for video editing, for Photoshop, but for web browsing, especially if you spend around 200 bucks on this upgrade to an SSD, which is about 50 to 100 bucks, and you have an awesome little machine. Honestly, on top of everything, what may have surprised me most was the display. Being from 2010, I kinda of thought that would be the weakest point, but it looks surprisingly good. So by now we covered the $200 MacBook part, but I think it's time for the surprise. So I scheduled a haircut and asked Itzel if she would react to her upgraded computer on camera. Now from that alone, she was already blown away. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's back to its normal self, so now what? You got a fancy password you can change later. Okay. It's gonna turn on a lot quicker. Oh, that's so nice. What? Yes, love it. Now, what she had no idea was coming is that wasn't the surprise. I wanted to surprise her with a MacBook that wasn't from 2010. What? This is a new <laughs> MacBook. What? Are you serious? Yeah. I will cry because you're so nice to me. Are you serious? Yeah. Why are you so nice to me? Because you're cool. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. You could, uh... Thank you. You could give your uh, old MacBook to, you, <laughs> to your son. Right? Just don't let him take this one. <laughs> now I won't. Thank you so much. The one thing that's going to be weird though, Rich is looking out for you, is uh, there's no ports left on those things. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by a port on you? I have no clue what that So on your old MacBook, they have, uh, this is why this was a classic, because they have <sighs> USB, that uh -huh. was mini display port. Oh, yeah, yeah. They had a CD drive, like yes, the CDs yes. don't exist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like super vintage. This has just USB-C. 
Um, okay. So in the instance where you need uh, to go these old school ports, this will work with that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So that'll replace these little things right here. Yeah. Oh, wow. So. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. So yeah, this was kind of a little bit of a fun, nostalgic video, but also as you can see itself, she's an amazing person, she's an awesome mom, and she's definitely one of those people who won't take care of herself first, she'll take care of others, so I wanted to give back a little. Aside from that, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure to go 2010 MacBook on that like button. Also, I'm curious, if you owned a Mac, which was the first year you picked one up? Nothing but love to tell as well. Check her out at... I'm here inside the Sola Salon Studios that are in Upland, and my particular business is called the Black Skull Studio. Come get a haircut. She's awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Catch you guys later. Metallica is going to sue me for this video. Really? <laughs>